Hello, and welcome to another episode of my CSGO 101 tip series. Today I'm going to be going over how to aggressively hold Banana on DE Inferno as a counter terrorist to help gain map control. To begin, let me explain why this is important. DE Inferno is a relatively small map and then you're able to throw smokes and flashes from one choke point at one bomb site to another. Uh, just as a demonstration, I'll throw a quick smoke from top Banana to arch side mid. If a terrorist has banana control and they're able to gain access to top banana, they're able to throw effective smokes and flashes and fakes to the other bomb site. So it's important to gain banana control and top banana control specifically to help eliminate terrorists from throwing fakes like that and helping you gain as much information as to where the other team might be. So to do this, it's relatively simple, and I recommend two players playing banana and pushing. Uh, but you can do this solo if you're solo queuing in matchmaking, or if your other teammate in banana is going to help stack A. Uh, but to begin, the aggressive player will get a flashbang out as you're running from CT spawn to banana. You'll round this corner, and as soon as you can see this entire brick wall here, you'll run forward straight at it. Aim your crosshair in the middle, both vertically and horizontally, and release. This flash will go off in the front corner of the car on the opposite side, so it'll completely block the flashbang from blinding this counter terrorist, especially if anybody is pushing behind car, which is what the intention is for this strat. So again, you'll just run straight at it, throw, and it won't blind you at any point from behind car. The benefit of this is you're able to get into position and peek down banana. If there's any terrorists pushing banana to logs or up the main part, even at some points underneath this patio cover, they'll be blinded and you'll be able to pick them off easily. Uh, as you can see, that flash will get anybody playing the main part and even players back under here. It's important to have, if you're going to have two players on top banana, that the support player plays from behind sandbags. Uh, if this person gets flashed or naded or pushed and they get in trouble, they can fall back as the player sandbags can help play support. Uh, one thing in particular that I like to do but, uh, as I'm playing sandbags is I back myself into this corner and I aim my crosshair right on this edge and a little bit to the left just so you don't accidentally throw it on this right edge. Uh, but like right here and I just toss a flash if you stay behind sandbags it won't get you if you play behind car and you're you know counter flashing for your player behind car that flash won't get them at all either but what it does do is flash anybody trying to push the player car and it doesn't give the terrorist a lot of time to turn away either it's a great pop flash um, especially if your player behind car is in trouble uh, they can wait for that flash to go off and then rotate back uh, and fall back. But again, to do that, you just aim right on this edge, this corner of the roof, toss the flash, and it'll go off. Uh, but basically, you just want to work together to help stop any rushes. Uh, like I said, the first flash off of this brick wall will get anybody at T mid, under here, in main, logs. And it's just a great way, especially if you play passive most rounds, this will catch them off guard uh, if you use this to change things up or mix up your strats. But it's just, it's very effective at letting you pick off the other team. But car is hard to defend against a five person rush and you will want to be able to rotate back, um, even toss smokes uh, to try to slow down a rush if you get pushed and you don't have control. You always do want to fall back and play passive if you're getting overrun. But hopefully that helped. Um, watch this clip to see this strat in action. And as always, if you liked the video, if you liked what you saw, please like this video on YouTube. Um, subscribe, share the video, and just let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you like that you'd like to see more of. Um, I'm always open to suggestions, wanting to help out and do more. So thank you guys. Uh, and enjoy this clip. Deploying flashback.